I'm excited to introduce our next guest. She is a pioneer in the music industry and she has created something that when you guys hear about it, you're going to be absolutely blown away. Crystal, welcome to the show. Thank you. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm wonderful. And you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. So awesome. Crystal, you have had an extensive history in the music industry. <laughs> I sure where have. Did, where did your love for music start? Wow. Well, I think because my dad used to play the guitar. Mm -hmm. So as a baby, I was always hearing the rhythms and the beats. So I guess to a certain extent, it started from that young. Mm -hmm. And then the majority of my family, either they were singers or mm -hmm. they were instrumentalists. So I guess it was probably only natural. So exactly, because I mean, you had it in your family going already, it right? So, so, yeah. listen, so give us a little bit of history about your, about your musical background. Sure. I actually began rather late in mm -hmm. comparison, especially to when most children begin. I was already at secondary school in second form. Mm -hmm. So my journey began, it was wonderful, but then I got to realize, especially as I was getting older, that juggling between schoolwork and practicing was not really happening. And that is why even now I try to encourage a lot of persons to balance their time well mm -hmm. because I understand where it can go downhill. Mm -hmm. But even though I stopped my internal practicing journey, I knew that I still wanted to be a musician. Mm -hmm. So I decided in 2014 to quit my full-time jobs mm -hmm. and instead to open a music school wow. at that time called Music Angels. Mm -hmm. So Crystal, taking the step to open a music school is a big thing. Congratulations, by the way, but it is a big thing. Tell us about your difficulties that you had to encounter bringing the music school into fruition. Of course, financing is one of the biggest ones. Mm -hmm. being, um, being an entrepreneur, being self-employed in Barbados, there are certain steps we have to go through. And to be honest, the journey was not very simple, but I pushed through, I persevered. So it meant that I was starting my school even later than I intended because the funding was not as yet available. Mm -hmm. But once that happened, I continued, I persevered, I had my targets, I had my goals, I knew what I wanted, and it was just from then till, till now. Yes. Oh my goodness, yeah. that is amazing. So I know that you have this school open now and things are moving. You have things like MB Music Learning Center going beautifully. Yeah. What are your goals for the musicians of tomorrow? Oh my goodness. The main philosophy I would say even of the AMB Music Learning Center mm -hmm. is that this is where music comes to life. Mm -hmm. So what I want for the musicians of tomorrow is to see and to understand how music impacts all aspects of themselves. From the way they talk, the way they move, the way mm -hmm. they laugh, the mm -hmm. way they just enjoy life. So I want that the children, the students have that understanding and get the joy in music. But then it's not only just the music school like it was when we were music angels. Because now we have the complimentary arm now with the performers, we're gonna have jams, we're gonna have shows. I want now that music comes to life now even through those aspects. So where now we have our big ones, angel strings, made up of our smaller internal group string brotherhood or sister strings, cupcake angels, mm -hmm. whatever it is. Mm -hmm. I want that all of them understand, yes, learning is only part of the process, but showcasing, being a performer, that is what makes the complete individual. <laughs>
So they are extremely talented. We've had bookings, Jaguar the Champ have booked us already for Bash So We Were on Stage with mm. Bash with Soka. Mm. They've been booked by Billboard also at Piccadilly no, Crop. No. Plenty of weddings across the islands, book launches, so many things. Mm. Because that is the idea. And even though right now with the COVID period, there's not as many bookings and gigs, it is a reality. Mm. That is why here at the center, we have really brought them on as brand ambassadors, yep. along with the right combination, mm. another group of young persons who I truly admire. And we brought them on here because through what we do at the center, we can still give them an opportunity to showcase their talent. Absolutely. So that is the idea of it. Absolutely, Crystal. It sounds that like you have created an amazing program. You've created amazing connections. You've created amazing musicians. Tell us, finally, what is the next step? What plans do you guys have coming up? Wow, we are just going to blow up. Yeah. We have some events coming yeah. up. Red Room Jams, <laughs> looking forward to those. Mm -hmm. We're going to not only be showcasing our in-house musicians and ambassadors, but this is now where we're going to be inviting guest artists in. We have persons lined up, mm -hmm. looking forward to it. We have Mikey, Adrian Clark, G Syndicate. Mm -hmm. We're looking now to bring even more seasoned musicians in because we want that persons every week have something to look forward to that's different. Yeah. Because yes, you can go anywhere and there's a band playing, but mm. how often do you go and there's a violin string group? That is, that is our unique niche. That is, that is what makes us different. That's so true. we get to show the innovation of the instrument, that it's not just to play the classical Beethoven and Mozart, which is amazing mm. and must be learned, but we now can tweak it, have a yeah. soca edition, a reggae mm. jazz edition, and bring the instrument to life. Amazing, amazing. <laughs> Guys, there you have it. Crystal Barker, innovation creativity, and the music of tomorrow. I am Brandon Blackman, and you just found out more. <laughs>